before we get going with the video, I would like to take a moment to say thanks to all my patrons. As I said many times before, I wouldn't be able to make these videos without you guys, so thank you so much for all your support. I'd also like to say thanks to Richter, Joshua and Code Gorilla for their tier 3 sub this month, and special thanks to James Vreeland Bond for his tier 4 sub this month. Hello and welcome! If you're new here, then welcome to the channel, and if you've already watched some of my videos, then welcome back! This video is going to be a bit different than my other videos, because usually I just make Unity tutorials, but in this video we are going to take a look back at two of the first games that I ever created. Okay, okay, maybe not the first games, because I made some games like Tic-Tac-Toe, Hangman, Quiz Games and all that jazz in the console before, but these are the two first games that I created with animated sprites. So without further ado, let's take a look at these games. So the first game I would like to look at is called Ground War and it's from March 2010. The other game we're going to look at is from June 2010 and that's my exam project in that year. Um, I made these games right when I started to learn how to program and this is the first animated game that I ever made. Before this I only made something in the console like Tic-Tac-Toe, Hangman and all those things. Um, as you can see here, the date is a little wrong because it says that it's from September 2010. Well, back in F uh, March 2010, uh, Visual Studio 2010 wasn't out yet, or at least I didn't know it was out. So we used Visual Studio 2008 back then. And I guess this date that it says here is the time when I upgraded it from 2008 to 2010 Visual Studio. Um, anyway, uh, we can try to open up this program. And as you can see, it's not a game engine. We're not using a game engine here. We're not using any frameworks. We actually made these games in something called Windows Forms. And you can still make Windows Forms in Visual Studio 2019. Um, but we use them for games and they're not meant for the games. Uh, they're meant to do something like this where you put buttons in and you put checkboxes in and you put like all these labels and stuff on them. So we did a lot of things we weren't supposed to do and um, we actually had to make our own game loop and our game loop here is actually just a timer that ticks um, every 30 milliseconds I think uh, because we had no idea about threads and everything so the easiest way for us to make something that could update us all the time would be to add a timer to this form here um, but doing this game actually taught me so much it taught me about game loops rendering and game objects and all those things um, but anyway, let's take a look at the game. Sorry for bothering you with all the, the boring talk. Let's let's look at the game. Um, so we had a splash screen and then the game is up here and we actually have this animation over here. And as far as I remember, I'm not sure. I don't think that was an animation. I think that's just a, a, a GIF that plays over here. And then we have our high scores. Um, and these high scores are nothing special. It's not encrypted. You can easily cheat. It's just a text document that it reads in and shows here. And let's see here we have our start game. And this is the game. Um, I have a tank. I can move it up and down, left and right. And you can see there are different kinds of enemies. Um, the red enemies, or purple enemies, I guess, have more health than blue ones. As you can see, I need to shoot them a few more times. And every time I hit something, um, I get a point. Um, yay, I click wrong here. So let's see. Uh, if I shoot the blue ones two times, I yeah, hit them, I, they die. And if I shoot them one, two, three, four, I guess, five. I don't know. I didn't kill that. That's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five times. It's amazing how bad you can be at your own games. However, it's almost 10 years since I made it. So I guess I'm excused. So we have those wrenches. If you pick them up, you get health. And I'll see if I can make it all the way to the boss. I'm not sure if I can. Let's see here. So there's not a lot of gameplay, right? You have tanks. If you get hit by the projectiles or the tanks, you lose health. If you get hit by those small mines here, you also lose health. Let's try to hit one. There we go. So then I explode and I lost health. And the only way to get health would be to pick up the ranges. It looks like the boss is coming. Let's see here. And that's the boss. So that's our boss, and it basically just shoots like this, back and forth. But I think I can still hit it while standing behind the rocks here. Um, let's see here. I don't think I need to actually go in here, and I would die instantly, wouldn't I? Yeah, I would. So let's see if I can actually kill it. So this is what I could do for the first game that I ever created with sprites and movement and this. Um, I know it's not a lot, but I had so much fun making it, and I can see it works because... Now, the boss starts to move quicker, the more I hit him. 
Um, so that's the mechanic. We had an idea about making him move this way and back and turn around and shoot with the player, but uh, it was too complicated for us to do that, I think. Um, also, you can see the barrel on the tank here. It moves around. That was the hardest thing to do for me, to make the barrel aim at the mouse. I remember I... I tried so many different things and then I ended up, I think, copy pasting something from the internet, like Stack Overflow or something, where someone uh, tried to help me. Oh, and then we have a high score, someone. And done. And you win. Press space to restart. So that's actually that game. And we used, I think I used, um, we were like two in the group. We used about, I think, three weeks just doing this. Um, it took so long just to do that. Anyway, we can take a little look at the code. I don't want to dive into it uh, too much because it's going to be boring. Anyway, if you're interested in looking at the code, um, you can go to the link in the description below and go to GitHub and download the code for both of these if you're interested in them. Um, for example, here we have our, where is it? Gun calc angle, angle here. I didn't understand this at all. Um, I pasted it in, changed it around until it worked for me. Uh, and you can also see like, it's not even consistent the way I'm naming stuff. Render with capital R, gun and calculation with non-capital, I guess, because this might be a copy-paste uh, thing from the internet. And I didn't even bother to change this into Pascal casing like I did with my other methods. Um, yeah. But anyway, this is the, the code, and we have our yeah game whales and all those things. You can, you can take a look at that if you want to, but let's look at the games instead because it's going to be boring just to look at, at the code. So this one is my exam project from June 2010, the second game that I made. Let's see, yeah, this should be a little bit better. And you might be able to see right away what game I was inspired by when I made this, right? So let's try here. Let's run it. So we actually had this um, a story in the beginning, like, yeah, we had some things and all that and how we move, how we do that. And if I press inside start. So even the music is a rip-up. I don't know if it's going to be pulled from GitHub because there's so much copyright stuff in it. It was not supposed to be uh, released, this game. It was just supposed to be a school project, right? So this is the character. He can move uh, up and down, and this is the world. Um, I think... How do I interact with stuff? can't remember how I play this game. Ah, space. Okay. So space is interaction with stuff. There is this little thing, what happened, and I need to find these three items in my world. And let's see here, I can move around in this world here. These are just like one picture and then we, when we go to the next scene, we change the picture actually and portal the player to the bottom of the screen. Um, let's see here, if I go to options, we actually had like high score. Um, this is like standard version. We could save and load stuff. Um, we can also toggle music off if it's too loud. Sorry about that. Um, let's see here, we can toggle debug. And can I even close my high score? <laughs> there we go. Um, the score is based on the time it takes for you to complete the game. And um, it, it's not frame rate independent, so the person with the fastest computer would win, the, the, get the best high score, because the, the faster the computer is, the faster the person could move. Uh, we actually tested this with three different computers, and the one with the gaming PC, as good as it could be back then, 2010, would actually win, uh, because it, it has had more frame rate, higher frame rate. Uh, and you can see the score counts upwards. Um, the lower score you get, the better it is. Anyway, you can see these are collision boxes around stuff. Um, the player can move around everywhere where they aren't. And the sprites are basically ripped totally from uh, from Zelda. Uh, the character here, you might recognize him if you've watched my tutorials. I actually used it for my scrolling combat text tutorial back in the day. Um, it's actually Link um, from the Zelda games with another hair cut, I think, and I think I changed the color of his shirt or something, but that's it. Uh, let's remove the debug, it's not interesting to do that. Yo, okay, there's something we'd like to look at. So now when I have debug on, I can spawn enemies when I click, so I don't want to do that, so let's just remove debug. And you can see you can talk to people, they say some things, and this guy here will give you a cake if you talk to him. You see item looted, we even have scrolling combat text. So if I go away and talk to him again, I will get this, these cakes. And then I can open up the inventory and enter. And you could move around with the arrow keys. And if I press space, I consume one of these uh, things here. And let's see here, we can try to... Uh, I want to close it on, on, on escape. We can try to move out in the world here. 
So we need to find this item here and two enemies. And you can see they run over the threes. It's not like it's like very good. They when they attack, they scroll their head. And I just need to spam my key here to, to kill them. So let's see how they block and all that. And when they die, they drop loot. So you can see I can pick that up. And see how we got a what is it called? A chest here and a helmet. And I wanna eat some cake. Oops, I think I wanna eat some more cake. There we go. And then we can go into the forest here. And this is the forest. It's it's a placeholder forest, right? Uh, we wanted to make some worlds in there, but we ha didn't have time to to do this. Uh, and I want to say we we were two people in the group again uh, to do this. You can see now I looted like the first item. This is the map, which is one of the free quest items I need to loot. And you can see this one has free damage, shield crit, block rate. So this is the same. I think I dropped the item if I try to equip it. Yeah, and I have something equipped already. So this is like bad. Um, what is it called? Uh, practice but however whatever and as you can see um the enemy spawn again when you go back to the zone and you can see these icons here um blizzard actually uh, stole these from me right uh, these items are yeah just totally rip off of world of warcraft uh, items i think we went to Wohead or thought body was called back then i think there was Wohead Wohead back then and we just ripped those uh, sprites right away <laughs> To, to get them. Anyway, uh, I think I want to get some more cake before I move on because I want to show the whole game. Since here, okay. There we go. So we attack on the same button as we loot stuff uh, or talk to people. So that's, yeah, we're just attacking people when we need to, to ask them about something. Let's just get full cake. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's, it's going to take a while to do that because I need to go away. Every time I pick up some cake, I have one more slot. There we go. Anyway, I'm going to speed through these two mobs here, I don't want to kill them unless I want full epic guys. Let's let's try to kill some. So now I should be hitting harder because I got that. That's a crit. That's nice. So let's see here. Pick these two up. Inventory full, of course. I'm gonna eat some cake. Let's see here. Some boots. That's always nice. And new helmet. It's epic. So let's throw this one away and put this one on. So now you can see that my stats are improving. See over here, there's a two skeletons. I guess I could also kill these. Now it goes way easier because I have that epic uh, helmet here. I have some gloves. Some more okay, cake, I guess. And a dagger. So now I'm fully equipped, but it's not, yeah. We have these things like World of Warcraft, right? Uh, um, epic and green and, oh, oh, that's a crit. That's also a crit. Let's see here. I don't want that helmet. And these boots are worse than the ones I had. Okay, I need to go and find uh, the two other items. Let's see here. And actually, I can show you the pathfinding for these are, are so bad. Let's see. These enemies, they run straight towards me no matter what. Um, so um, it's kind of like if we have the same position almost, it's just going to run into the wall. Um, I can actually show you on the debug. I think we have something. Yeah, you can see here what directions they can walk in. Um, oh, now I spawned a up because I clicked. Um, anyway, uh, if it's, it, it, it will try to walk to you, no matter what, let's see, yeah, we need to take those off and debug like that. Um, and I'm going to turn debug off again. Uh, now I spawned another enemy, let's see here. Um, if, yeah, let's see if I can do this there. You can see this one, it will try to take the shortest path around the rock However, if there is if the same distance on the left at the and the same distance on the right, it will never try to go around the rock for me. It will just stay there and not run to me. So that's why it's like, um, yeah, bad coding or bad AI. But we didn't know about pathfinding or anything back then. We just made it run straight towards the player. If it hit a wall, it will try to take the shortest path. But in the case there is no shortest path, it, it can't run to me. Uh, and now it crit me. Yay. Uh, let's try to pass this. So these are the only types of monsters we have in the game. And I'm almost running out of cake now. I am running out of cake. And then when we get here, there is there should be a guy down there in the bottom, I think. That we can talk to. Yeah, here. And he doesn't do anything, he's just laying around. We tried to design this world just a little like with some different things and we can go here. Um, and he says he's never gonna camp out here again. Good choice. I guess he was beaten up or something by the skeletons. And then we have the last thing here, not the last, like one of the last things about the cave. And let's see if we have some better items. We have an epic chest. Let's put that one on right away. 
and let's pick up the key. Now we have the key, and we also have the map. The last thing we need to find is the crystal, I think. And it's in a tower right here, if I remember correctly. The game's not that big, so it shouldn't be that hard for me to remember. Let's see. So we also have this problem, or not problem, but this thing where I'm gonna die, I think. No, 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 no. I'm going to die. I'm not going to complete it. Oh, I crit it. Okay, okay. What do I do? <laughs> I don't think I can complete the game. Anyway, I have the key and the map and now I'm going to pick up the last thing which is this gem here and I should to complete the game I need to make it from here all the way to the top at the bridge where we were before um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this okay uh, Jesus. nope I'm stuck I can't even move that okay what just happened oh I went in and out okay okay, okay. let's see here I can't get through here without taking a hit, can I? Uh, maybe? Maybe I can? Nope, game over. Okay, anyway... <laughs> um, the game would be, have been complete if I made it all the way uh, to the top and then the game sound turns on again here. Uh, let's see, I toggle the music off. Um, if I picked up the items and made it all the way to, to the bridge over there where the two guards were, uh, the game would have been complete because I picked up all the items for that king thingy. And let's see here. I just want to show you where I need to go. I guess you already know. Um, but I was playing much, too much round, I guess. Um, let's see here. Wow. There. I should just picked up the items. And I was basically down here, right? I should just run up here and run to this bridge. And I would have completed the game. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you're interested in these projects, you can just go to the link in the description below to download them. And also, if you're interested in learning about this and learning how to create a game like this, well, then you can also learn that in my Udemy course. So you can click the link in the description below to go to that course. And remember, if you're a patron, you can enroll for free on my course. So thank you so much for watching.